Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm not sure what time it is where you are. Today we're going to be doing a beautiful color block blowout inspired by Rin Skadauna. But let's enjoy the intro first. <music> Right, you beautiful people you beautiful art people let's get down to business as you guys know I do not put my base colors down first I do what I call the reverse Dutch part method I put my colors that I'm gonna be blowing out down and then I put my base color down this is a custom mixed blue I use light blue by artist loft and turquoise blue by Liquitex and mix them together to get like this medium tone blue. It looks lighter than it actually dries. The color I'm going on top of that with now is turquoise blue and this is by Liquitex. Um, I'm using condiment bottles that I get from Dollar Tree. That's what I use to store my colors. I only use water to mix my paints as well. I do have a video coming on that. Now the next shade of blue that I'm going to be using is like my version of Prussian blue I'll say um, because the Prussian blue is just not Prussian enough for me. So I actually take um, Windsor's Windsor blue, Windsor and Newton's Windsor blue and I take a Prussian blue by um, Grombacher Academy and I mix them together to get this deep tone blue. I think I used three custom colors this time around. You know, I'll show you guys. I don't I don't know if people want to see that. Do you want to see me mixing colors? Um, I don't know. This is a gold from Arteza. Um, I love their um, shimmer. And I love how, oh, I can't wait till you guys see how this look. It's, called, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. But um, that one is by Arteza. I love Arteza paints very much. So we're going to put our colors to the side and we're now going to prepare to put the base color down. Now my base that I'm using is also a custom color. I used titanium white, red, and yellow from Liquitex and came up with this beautiful salmon color. I am obsessed with it. Like, oh my gosh, the way they look together. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much. So I'm preparing to put my base down and I'm just squeezing that alongside the colors that I put down already and then I'm going to go in and blow out my salmon. Now the thing about this technique that I love is that it prevents me from putting too much paint on my canvas and if there's too much paint on your canvas while it dries the paint will shift entirely too much so I like to avoid having so much paint on my canvas by blowing it out this way this way I also still flood my colors there's still enough to flood the colors this way so now I'm just going to be blowing it out. I've had a lot of people ask me what type of blow dryer I use. And this is a Revlon blow dryer. It is $10. I will put the link to it um, for from Amazon in the description box to show you guys which one I use. Because um, this, this blow dryer is the truth. I love it so much. I love the spout on the end of it. I have another blow dryer and I did not like how my colors looked when I blew them out because it was such a wider thing. Thank you. 
now as you can see I still was able to flood my colors and I make sure I have a squeeze bottle on hand of the same base color like I said this just prevents me from pouring which prevents me from having too much paint on the canvas so I'd rather just squeeze a small amount and blow that out rather than make a mistake and pour too much out so that's why I have my little squeeze bottle on deck So I'm just repeating the same process with my white. I use titanium white from Liquitex and I use water to mix out my base for my white. So same thing. Um, I have a lot of Liquitex um, colors I'm learning. I actually really like their formula. It works very good for my mixing of my paint. Now we're just going to go ahead and blow this out 
um, I didn't blow it too much because I really wanted this to be really concentrated but look at the lacing that's happening oh it's so beautiful and I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the other one same way very similar And I really just love how these blues mix so well with this salmon. Now, I'm just going to do a little bit of blowing with my mouth. And like right over here on the other one, I'm going to blow a little bit as well. I want them to be cousins, not sisters. I don't want them to look exactly alike. I'm a very big fan of asymmetry. So right over here for the one furthest to the um, right, um, just this corner wasn't blown out enough for me, so I'm actually going to pick it up. When you do this, you have to be extremely careful because of course your paint is still moving, and I'm just going to blow it with my mouth because I couldn't really get to it the way I needed to, and I'm just going to just do a little small amount of blowing. I'm sorry I couldn't get this on camera, but um, you can do the same thing as long as there's not enough paint there's not too much paint on your canvas and you're careful not to spill anything but yeah I just blew out the corner so that it can kind of almost match the other one just not all the way because like I said I'm a good big fan of asymmetry and I am going to now show you guys what it looks like I love it it's so beautiful how those blues are concentrated Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like dried as well so that you can see how beautiful it is dried. And here they are all dried and beautiful the blue is just so much more vibrant I absolutely love how it looks I love 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 this look at that I'm gonna stand them upright for you guys to see them and I really appreciate you guys watching this video I will see you guys next time mm -hmm.